please. No, I've got one. Right. <laughs> this is an excellent start. Just hello, Max. You found us. <laughs> right. I've got no idea what's going on with Streamlabs. It decided to. My camera crashed and then everything crashed. <laughs> the stream is haunted. It's a, it's a Halloween stream and it's haunted. Robert, you're back. Fantastic. <laughs> I tell you what, we're just... Hopefully everyone else will find the stream. If anyone's in the Discord, um, do you just post a link somewhere for the the, um, the new stream? That would be brilliant. Oh, everyone, everyone's finding us now. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more luck. Good evening, Lawrence. Fishy Charles, hello. Nationwide coin hunt. I'm going to call you Nationwide because I will bugger your name up at some time. <laughs> Sounds like Streamlabs needs another cup of tea, yeah. Right, so we're back. Hopefully we're working. Um, I'm going to avoid pressing any buttons and I'm just going to jump straight into the game. Uh, and hope it works. So... I've not driven on the Bakerloo line very much. I've not got much experience on this route, so we're going to kind of just... Um, press buttons and see what happens I guess so here we go key in it's a Halloween stream it's a good start to it I wonder if I've got with all the overlays and stuff whether I'm just overloading it a little bit um, key in there uh, into forward and then hopefully Hopefully this is going to go. Uh, we've got lights on. It's going. It's making a hissing noise, but it's going. <laughs> right, we're speeding. Okay. So, Harrow and Wheelstone, guys. The idea of this stream, like I said earlier, is just to have a little bit of fun, really. Um, we've already got gremlins in it, as you can see. And... Um, Kind of just to see if we can come up with any Halloween-related puns for the station names and such. So, any ha any Halloween-related puns for Harrow and Wildstone? Let's let's have your worst. To turn on some Christmas music, yeah, it's it's we're getting there. We're getting there. Geek motto: Hit Q. Yeah, I think it, we've stopped that now. Pig and Bob, hello, welcome to the stream. See how many times we can overshoot today because it's uh, underground. I've got to, I've got to drive it like I stole it. Ah, uh, doors. There we go. Harrow and Spearstone, Harrow and Gravestone, Harrow and Goldstone, Harrow and Goldstone, I like that one, that's really good. <laughs> Halloween and Gravestone, Harrow and Spookstone, this, this would have worked better on Halloween. I feel like, like, you know, Halloween's gone now, so it's like, it's practically Christmas, isn't it? Halloween and Gravestone, Gareth Kemp. Is that the Gareth Kemp? That's what I need to know. If that is the Gareth Kemp, how are you doing, buddy? You'll know what I mean. <laughs> Maxwell's going to grab his tube map so he can shout out the stations before me. So 34 of you lovely people in. If you haven't already, do please hit the like button. That would be awesome. I'm going to press a button and put an overlay on and hopefully it won't crash out. Hey, it's working. It's half working. Let me know as well, guys, if the game audio is okay. Yeah, Henry, 30 mile now at the end of the platform. Whack the brake into notch free. Uh, we'll give that one a go then and see how we get on. So, Kenton is the next station. We've got any Halloween puns for Kenton. Matthew, do you have your Christmas tree up? No, we're moving house, Matthew. <laughs> so... Um, So no, no Christmas tree yet. We're, we're moving in about two weeks. Liddell sisters, hello. Uh, 
Fishbow, have you ever been on the tube, Rich? Yeah, afraid so. Far too many times. Normally the Bakerloo line, incidentally, because I'm, I'm based out of Tunbridge. And we relieve a lot of trains at Wilston Junction. So quite often we take the tube um, Wilston Junction up to... Uh, Will, uh, sorry, Charing Cross up to Wilston Junction on the Bakerloo line. So, yeah, re reasonably familiar with that bit of the route. Geek motto, I can think of one, but it's not appropriate. Kilton. Robert, like, love it. Right, so if I'm doing 30 at the end of the platform, we're going to 3. You reckon that's about where we want to be? Yeah, probably about right, actually. Tamworth the official, hello. Welcome to our interesting idea of a stream that is going horribly wrong. We are not in service according to the front of the train. I probably need to do something about that. Um, how do, do we have access to the destination displays? We do. Little handle. Ah, oh, there we go. Elephant and castle. Nitrax, the Bakerloo line had severe delays on Halloween, incidentally. Okay, so... There we go. It wouldn't be a tube journey if it didn't go wrong, Peter Green. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you there, Peter. South Kenton. Next stop, South Kenton. Right, dare I press a button and jump into Discord? Is this going to work or is this going to crash the whole stream? Uh, we've we've got to give it a go. We've got to try it. Discord link in the description. That's not the Discord button I wanted. Let's try again. Way right, that's working. So far, so good. We've got seventy-three nine posted up there, or forty-three. Uh, the Charles Transport Photography posting that one and Joshua if you want to post stuff over there then link is in the description below we're in the live stream picture post channel uh, and the mods over there will be more than happy to help you get started Nationwide when is the next Patreon stream the last one was brilliant and cracked me up um I suppose we better put some brakes in. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, Fishbowl, it worked, yeah. Next Patreon stream will be... We're going to hopefully do one every uh, at least every four weeks. Um, in the summer, I'll have more time off work, so hopefully we can do them once a fortnight. But if you want to be part of the Patreon streams, guys, they're kind of informal. Um, just sort of having a laugh, having a beer, um, playing games, chatting away. So, yeah, if you want to be part of those in the future, then you can visit patreon.com forward slash davrail to find out more. I just said my son's name. SCR stream. Everybody wants an SCR stream. LNER train fan, what do you think of the train crash? Yeah, I'll, I'll go back to what I said at the beginning of the stream about the Salisbury train crash. If people are going to speculate, just make sure we do it, um, obviously, respectfully, uh, with the, the people in mind that were hurt, especially the driver. Um, the only information I've got is what's available in, in the media. It looks like it was potentially caused by a, a SPAD, uh, which was owing to low adhesion. Um, which, I mean, low adhesion leaves on the line is absolutely no joke, and, and this, this highlights it in the most terrible way possible. But um, until we got the full report, it's sort of not fair to, to speculate on exactly what's happened. But from, uh, from early indications, it looks like the, neither of the drivers were at fault, and it was, it was low adhesion. But that's, that's kind of uh, all we know at the moment. We will never stop until we receive an SCR stream. I might do one next time round just for the fun of it. 
tube train. My like too bad. Your train was delayed. Oh. Right, where are we? North Wembley. What puns have we got for North Wembley? It's getting very dark very quick on this route. I thought it was going to be lighter for a bit longer. I mean, it's dark when we go into the tunnels anyway, but I thought it'd give it get a bit of atmosphere if we'd done it at dusk. One yellow. It's weird not having AWS. Yeah, Nitrax, that could have been so much worse, uh, for sure. East Midlands Railway fan, can you be my guard? I presume you mean an SCR. Right, doors. Has it frozen? It hasn't frozen. Spooky Wembley. Oh, what's the game doing? The load passenger thing's kind of just... Ah, it's because we're moving. Right. <laughs> Definitely gremlins in there today. Officially, Charles, hello. Oh, you're saying hello to a different Richard. Ian Bradley, hello, everybody. Yeah, Harry Yandel, two aspects signalling on the over, uh, underground. Doesn't give you much room for error, two aspects signalling. Um, if you're on four aspects signalling, obviously, you get your two yellows. If you miss your two yellows, then you got. if you're not going too fast, you've got your one yellow to get it back. Uh, but with two aspect, three aspect signalling, if you miss that one yellow, you can't. you kind of had it. got those spider animations. I couldn't be bothered to animate the legs, so I kind of got the eyes going backwards and forwards. I'll turn them off if they're getting annoying, though. So, we're off to Wembley Central. Wembley not central. Ah, Joe from the British Ace is in the stream. Uh, excellent stream earlier on the South Eastern High Speed, Joe, and thank you for joining us in a rather buggy stream. Everything's going horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> it's a Halloween stream, everything's going horribly wrong. It wasn't planned that way, I promise. Wormbly Central, uh, we're, we're picking at straws now. So this this has got dark way too quickly. Wombat Central. Ah uh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hashtag Spadrail. <laughs> nah, we're good, we're good. Right, let's press this button and hope it doesn't crash. Anybody posting? Yeah, we're posting over in the Discord. We've got the lovely green 66 clagging away. There's, there's a certain irony about that. Beautiful 37s and 321s there as well. I, I'm quite a fan of the 321s actually. I do like um, I do like the 321s. I don't know why. I, ju I just do. <laughs> I can, really couldn't tell you why. So if you want to post in the Discord, you can do. Link is in the description below. It'd be great to see you over there. Rafe, hello. Green Signal, Stonebridge Park. Gravestone Bridge Park. Gravestone Park. Yeah, we're getting we're getting it now. You're being too gentle. I'm being too put too gentle on the brakes. 46 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, then do please hit that like button. And also consider subscribing to Dead Rail. Normally the streams are not quite this buggy. I promise. <laughs> but it's a Halloween stream. So, you know, I could, I could kind of just go on the basis that it was pre-planned. You'd all believe me. Ah, spider. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's why Streamlabs is crashing. I wonder if I've kind of got too many overlays and animations and stuff going on. Stonks Bridge Park. Is 
Is this realistic in comparison to what you would see at night? No, uh, Chris, I would say not at all. You'd only see kind of what your headlights illuminate. I mean, we are in London, so it's never going to be dark, dark. But the lighting level in front of the train is, is comparable to the lighting level elsewhere. So normally you'd only see kind of what the headlights illuminating. I wouldn't be seeing like the uh, overhead line equipment in the distance and, and stuff like that and the trees. Um, sort of if it was dark, dark. I mean, yeah, for this, for this time of night, I suppose it, it's okay. Um, but yeah, no, it does get very dark. The headlights are there so other people can see you rather than you being able to see them. Stone grave party. Oh, well done, Ian. Geek motto, Halloween specials tend to have more bugs than normal streams. Yeah, cab light is uh, K, I want to say, isn't it? Or L? L. So am I running really late? I'm running really late. I'm not surprised driving like that. Oh, that's good to know, um, Joe, British Ace. Thank you. Yeah, I've had problems lately when my camera decides it keeps wanting to freeze up. Um, and I tried to fix that, and then the whole Streamlabs just decided it was going to freeze up. Uh, let's get the doors open. Nitrax, do you drive with the cab light on or off at night? Typically, you drive with it off, Nitrax. Um, same reason you don't drive a car with a light on. You get too much glare, and you can't see out the window properly. If you need to turn it on, though, there's nothing to stop you if you need to look at your schedule or look at something in your bag or, you know, providing um, providing the timing's right and you're not approaching a red signal or anything like that, then then you can you turn the light on. We are green. We are going to Halston. Harleston. Halston? Halston. I'm going to Halston. Hoop. Doesn't matter how many times you ask, buddy. <laughs> Chris Holland, I noticed the other day that there is one brighter white light on the front of the cab. I haven't figured it out yet, though. Yeah, Chris, uh, one will be a headlight, the other one will be a marker light. So there's an obligation on all modern stock to have three marker lights on the front. So you have the, the one at the very top called the Cyclops light, and then you have two on the sides. But typically what will happen um, is when you're out mainline running, either the right or the left marker light will be replaced by a headlight, which is a lot brighter. Um, so if you're depot only, then you've just got your marker lights on. So that'd be your free, or newest dock, your free marker lights. But once you go out on the main line, you either use day running or night running headlight, uh, depending on what the lighting conditions are. Uh, no rules about that, either. Even the game's getting a bit laggy as well. We're down to kind of 45 FPS. Right, one yellow. Yeah, nationwide, that's true. That's true, I did. Look, I've got my phone here. I absolutely did. <laughs> Where are we? Halston. Station hasn't even got any lights on it. What's going on with that? That's got to be a bug, surely. No platform lights. Close enough. Right, let's put a Discord up and just have a quick look at what's going on over there for a second. Lovely 66s. DRS 66s. Right, we are on our way again. Right, 
Right, where are we going? Wilston Junction. Right, what puns have we got for Wilston Junction? Oh, all I say to all the mods in the chat is just uh, do what you need to. <laughs> I've got faith in you guys. Night track's almost certainly a bug. Cathcart Circle always has no station lights at night. That's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Geek Motto, thank you very much. Mark Wilson, is it scary driving at night? You obviously have to have faith in your colleagues. Yeah, fa faith in your colleagues and that of the signalling system. Oh, I've got no heads up display on for the speeds, actually, have I? So That kind of really breaks the immersion, not having station lights on. That's a bit, uh, I'm a bit disappointed with that. I thought it'd be quite an easy fix as well, unless they're just not modelled full stop. Miss the monitors. Please keep Wood Woodston Junction. Please keep all the puns appropriate. Willie's joint pain. <laughs> That's not a bad one, Ian. Not a bad one. Dadra, how would you change your breaking point for Battle Station if there was low adhesion? Um, I would be coming towards Battle... On the up, I'd be coming towards battle, battle about 60 miles an hour, um, and I'd be putting brake step one in at the distance signal um, for battle. On the down, I'm braking back by, you're coming in at 80 on the down, and I'm braking back again by the distance signal for Marley Lane level crossing. Right, Kensal Green, what puns have we got for Kensal Green? I think we might actually get more light when we jump into the tunnels. So we've got Wilsdon Depot um, over to our right. And there's some uh, lovely e EMT HST sitting in there at the moment. Oh, there was last time I went past. Peter Green, Killing Green. <laughs> That's not a bad one. Ten Skull Ghouls. Yeah, Ian, I like that one. It's kind of like, it's a shame you haven't got like a, a like button or something on um, YouTube Messenger. I think Twitch has got that. Could migrate over to Twitch. I quite like YouTube though, but... Kind of, does, does anyone know kind of what whether it's better to be t streaming on YouTube or Twitch or... What, what do people prefer as a platform? Kenzel Ghouls. Yeah, I like that one, Nitrax. That's good. No wonder I'm running so late. We're going so slow. Almost a perfect stop. YouTube is better to stream on. Hashtag late route, pig and bob. Yeah. How late are we? Oh, we're well late. Well and truly late. I, I blame the problems with the stream earlier on. That's what I'm going on. Josh Kelly, hello. I prefer YouTube, shorter adverts. Uh, Nitrax YouTube. Okay, I think we're staying on YouTube. So I think on Twitch it allows you to do like polls and stuff like that as you're going along, which is which is quite useful. 
Uh, what am I doing? Power. Let's go. Green. Off to Queen's Park. Uh, what can we get for Queen's Park? Ah, Connor. Twitch is better in my opinion. Hello, Connor. How are you doing? Queen's Park. I'm going with Queen's Dark. That's, that's the best pun I can do for that one. Oh, nationwide. That's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Twitch is made for streaming, so it could work better. YouTube does. YouTube lets you do polls as well. Okay, I'll look into that fishbowl. Alright, I'm guessing the speed limit's going to drop somewhere up here because we've got a, a route indicator. Josh Kelly, thank you very much. We are up at over 9,000 subscribers, which is superb. Queen's Bark, Pig and Bob, love it. Queen's Scared. Queen's Boo Park. <laughs> 15, right, don't derail, don't derail, don't derail. Hashtag dad rail derail. Transport guy, thank you very much. Yeah, 10k is kind of. I've I've got a bet going on with my son at the moment. If I get um, if I get to 10k before Christmas, he's got to do the dishes Christmas Day. And if I don't, I've got to give him 20 quid. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's he's hoping for the 10k. To be fair, I'll end up doing the dishes anyway because if he doesn't, I'll have to do them again. Fears Park, Drag Queens Park. Oh, I like that one. Josh, yeah, we're on the London Underground Bakerloo line. Halloween special. Um, coming up with puns for the station names as we go along. I'm really disappointed by the fact there's no station lights, though. Genuinely really disappointed with that. There's so many things I'm finding on um, Squeens Park, Johnny Simulator game. That's probably the best one yet, Squeens Park. There's, there's so many kind of little things I'm finding on um, Train Sim World, like, like so many quality of life improvements that they could make, and so many, you know, little things like not having lights at the stations. It, it's just really, it, some places just feel unpolished. It's the Baker, yeah, Baker Boo line, Baker Boo line. Nitrax Dad Derail. Queen Starkers, that's terrible. Yeah, no, that is terrible, Chris. That is absolutely, absolutely terrible. Right. We're getting the tunnels and we'll check the Discord. So if you haven't posted anything in the Discord, link in the description below. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we're down into the tunnels. I've been playing Open BVE and I'm using the wrong buttons on the, the keyboard. Kilburn Park, Platform 2. Uh, kill, kill and burn park. Kill and burn park. See that that kind of sorts itself out. That one. Ah, oh, fantastic, um, Josh. Yeah, I try and catch as many of um, the British Aces streams as I can. He's got a lot of really good content on his channel. Oh, fishy. I won't say that one out loud. YouTube YouTube will uh, take away my 50p for doing the stream. Right, now we can't see anything. Ah, tunnel. Right, how far are we from Kilburn? I feel like we've got to hit these stations a bit harder. See, it's like we're 200 yards away. It's like we, sh we should be getting some braking, surely. Kill Burns Park. Who killed Mr. Burns? Ian Bradley lights her off in the stations because Mayor of London stole TFL money for his workery. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm certainly never getting a job as a tube driver. I'll be fair, this is kind of probably the second time I've played this route since I've had the game, so. Lighting! 
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Ah, uh, we've got Lumo. Lumo and a... What's that? A one... Seven, I want to say a 170 at the top. I could be completely wrong. Uh, a Lumo 800 and a 701. Uh, Southeast and 701. Not, I don't know if the 700 series look nice in that livery, to be fair. What do you guys think? Do you like it in that livery? I'm, I'm not entirely sure in that livery. No, absolutely not Not entirely sure in that livery at all. Um, let's see if I can find the right button. Right, lock door. I've locked the doors. Booborn Park. Maida Vale. Go on then. What can we get for Maida Vale? Fish bar, it's a 168. It's a 707. <laughs> I'm doing well with my trains today. Uh, Josh, no, we're not on the 1938 stock. We're on the standard um, 1970, I want to say, stock. Nitrax, can't see much from the front. No, I think that's pretty um, prototypical of tube trains, actually. I think when they do driver's eye views and stuff, they, they strap massive massive sort of torches onto the front of the trains and turn the service lights on and stuff. So it's pretty typical of what you would actually see as a driver on the underground. Nitrax, Murderville, Murderdale. Station staff have stolen your YouTube 50p for the meter. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get this station stop a little bit better. Thank you, Sam. 72 stock. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Let's get those doors open. Ah, uh, there we go. One, five, six. Is that on the front of that one? I'm not doing very well with my trains today. Right, let's see if we can't get some of this time back. Warwick Avenue. Song by Duffy, I think that was Warwick Avenue. Josh Kelly going down to Elephant and Castle. Pig and Bob, hashtag still late rail. Yeah, Maxwell. Um, I'm in Discord chat with the mods it's being dealt with. Uh, right, we're speeding. Even though we're running late, we still mustn't speed. We're going we're gonna to risk our overrun at the next station. We're just going to kind of hit the platform really hard and hope for the best. I suppose the thing is, if we're running late, we might like get terminated early and sent back. You know, get an early day out of it if you're running late. So, 57 of you lovely people in the stream tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. And also consider subscribing to Overshoot Rail. Oh, that's the way to drive it. How many brake notches has it got? Oh, yeah, that'll do. Right on the monitors, look at that. I'll take that. That was all right, that. I'm so used to driving... So used to driving overground stock, um, national rail stuff. Where you drive sort of more conservatively, I guess, is the, is the right way of saying it. We're off to Paddington. That was emergency. Oh, never mind. Puns for Paddington, guys. What puns have we got for Paddington? That was a overshoot route, pick and bob. Not quite. Yeah, Robert, I agree. That was a perfect stop. 
making making full use of the train's abilities. Passengers embedded in the driver's door with that stop. Yeah, I think I need, definitely need more practice on the tube. Wouldn't make a tube driver. Double green, okay. I don't know much about London Underground signalling, so I ain't got a clue what a double green is. Oh, five and six is the Westinghouse break. Okay, that makes sense. I thought that was only on the 38 stock. Yeah, in theory, the, um, the corner should take a lot of the speed out of the train with a flange rub. You get create more resistance, so you... you uh, should, slow, should slow us down a bit. Night track, Spaddington. Oh, yeah, no, come on. Railway themed, Spaddington. We'll take that one. Peter Green, aren't most of the new trains and lines automatic operation nowadays? Um, I think some of them are, Peter. Yeah, I'm not sure, um, though. Yeah, definitely some of them are. Uh, someone in the chat will know a bit more about that. I say London Underground's not my, um, not my specialist subject to say the least. Right, twenty. Edgware Road. What have we got for Edgware Road, guys? Lighting desk. Did you? Oh, I love the username. Did you ever have any experience with the HST or Pacer? Um, no. <laughs> I, I cabbed an HST, rode a few. Same with Pacers. Didn't cab a Pacer, but I rode a few. Um, no, ne never had any experience actually driving either of them. Lovely, uh, really interesting username, lighting desk. Had a bit of play with some lighting equipment myself at one day. I guess we, we could have a conversation about DMX. Lose your head road. Edge scare road. Oh, that's a good one, Ian. Edge scare road. Right, so I'm just going to go straight into free at the end of the platform. Far too much brake. We've got another train right behind us, two minutes away as well. I feel like we should get out of that one and get into that one, just so we're back on time. Doors. Doors and Discord. Oh, it's lagging out. Purple trains! Hashtag purple trains. Still not sure about the purple trains. I've had a few rides on them, but... Uh, yeah, still not, still not sure of them. What do you guys think of the purple trains? And do you think? I know this is an old, this is kind of old topics I'm bringing up now, but come on, Elizabeth Line should have kept it as Crossrail. Spedgeware Road. Next station, Marlebone. Oh, there's got to be some skeleton gags in that one, Marlebone, surely. Marlebones. Crossley's Perp. Lag rail. <laughs> I've, I've kind of got a theory, like, um, why that was delayed so much, cross rail. It's like the, the contractors were just earning far too much money out of it. It was like it, it wasn't profitable to finish it. Like the, long, the longer they drag it out, the more they earn. It's, it's kind of, you know, good government contract planning kind of thing. Yeah, you're right, Ian. The 50p is lasting well. Purple trains are great, being a Slough local. Mary's bone. Pile of bones. Got some good gags coming out there. Guy McKenzie. 
halfway through my pass that way, all going well so far, except for a pex pesky trespasser today. Yeah, good luck, guy. Um, be really great if you could report in and let us know how you get on, but I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine, bud. Uh, no worries there. I uh, just want to say a big shout out to all the mods as well. You're doing a really great job in the chat tonight. So keep up, keep up all the hard work. Uh, Lighting Desk says, thoughts on the Azuma, a new northern fleet. Have you heard of the Tyne and Weir Metro? Uh, yeah, I have indeed. I um, Is it the sev Class 7 something that they got on the Tyne and Weir Metro now? I was lucky enough to have a nice look through one of those while they were being um, delivered. I can't remember what number it was. I had pictures on my old phone. My old phone broke, which is a bit of a shame. Jay, the signals are like double semaphores. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Try broke bones. What have we got for Baker Street? Great song by Jerry Rafferty, incidentally, Baker Street. We get some break in right at the last minute. I <laughs> left the breaking right to the last minute, and I'm still over breaking. We've lost like eight minutes, that's really bad. We're definitely being turned at early. I don't know where you can get turned on the um, on the Baker Lou Line Charing Cross, maybe. Baker spooked, Baker Boo Street, Josh Kelly, love it. Yeah, you were asking earlier, Josh, about how often I stream. Um, Normally, I try and do a couple of times a week, but it depends on my, my work schedule and stuff. Um, if you haven't seen my stuff before or me before, I am a mainline train driver based in the southeast. Greg Street, nationwide, love it. <laughs> um, currently working on freight trains, but I was a passenger train driver um, previous to that. So, kind of have to work it around the kids, hence the name Dad Rail. Work it around the kids and the family and work and stuff. But I try and stream about twice a week. So we're off to Regent's Park. This is the uh, delayed Halloween special we're doing, guys. So I'd uh, love to hear your Halloween puns for the station names. Uh, of course, we've been decided to delay the stream by a couple of days because of the uh, tragic events on Halloween down at Salisbury. So um, the stream is running two days late and the train's running almost two days late. So <laughs> it's been really buggy. It's perfect Halloween stream. Everything's been going wrong. Rafe, what do you think of the Class 68 Nova 3 set, Richard? I've not had a chance to go on one, but um, the 68s are lovely. I really, really like the 68s. Skeleton Park. Robert, what made you go from passenger to freight? Um, in my case, Robert, it was wanting more variety. Um... Wanting more variety in my work. I've, I've got an interest in the railways, obviously. Um, and I find freight, you learn a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more skills, different traction. You get involved in a lot of sort of older, more her heritage stuff as well, which is really nice. So, passenger work was good. I did enjoy passenger work, but I, just, I wanted the variety. That, that's what uh, took me over to freight. Padding Moodoo Street. Regular Gents Park. <laughs> that's, that's creative. Yeah, Jay, um, Jay, I've got a, uh, there's a video out on the channel somewhere as well, Freight versus Passenger. Um, I kind of give a better example in there, so you can go in and, uh, go in and have a watch of that one. Oxford Circus Show of Horrors is the next station. Jay, you're not as late as me. I can, I can assure you of that. Oxford Circus, Oxford Little Circus of Horrors. Ocean Spirit, good evening. Lighting just favourite heritage loco. Depends what you mean by heritage. Um, heritage is still on the network. It's got to be the class 73. Um, because I get to drive them. But it probably makes me a little bit biased. Um, in terms of old stuff, I've, I'd really like to drive a 47 or a 37. Um, I think the 37 would be nice to drive. Uh, 
Uh, so what are we, 30 mile an hour going uphill. We are going into Oxford Circus. Josh Kelly, do you drive class four freight? Yes. Uh, speed limit goes down there. Hashtag Dabrav Dran in a minute. Ox guts fun. Connor Frost, what area are you in tomorrow? Um, moving house tomorrow, Connor. So I'm going to be between here and the new house. I know Connor personally, incidentally, so. <laughs> Connor is um, does a bit of streaming on Twitch as well. Connor, if you want to shout your uh, channel out in the chat, then I'm more than happy for you to do that. Not Squawks, did you drive the underground in real life? Uh, no, uh, I've never driven the underground in real life. Only ever ridden it. First ever driver's eye view video I owned was on the underground road. It's the video 125 Northern Line driver's eye view. That's the first ever driver's eye view I bought. Dad, how can you say your thoughts again? You mean you mean on freight versus passenger? Uh, we're off to Piccadilly Circus. Now, not too rude on that one. Robert Lilly moving tomorrow and everything not boxed up. No, I'm not. Um, the moving date's two weeks away at the moment, but we've kind of. Um, we kind of, kind of been moving bits into storage and sort of moving stuff around here and there. So, we, we've already got the new house. Um, but we're not moved in. We've kind of got the, the deadline for, being, for moving in is in two weeks. Um, so we're just moving stuff around slowly at our leisure at the moment. Fabian, good evening. Why is the speed limit so low? Crazy Pep, yeah, I'd love to do real life train driving videos. I absolutely would, but. Um, Unfortunately, you just can't do it. Electronic device policies in cabs and stuff like that. I, I have spoken to my company about maybe doing something. Um, there is ways around it, but it's not easy. Um, you're sort of relying on other people to be released from duty and stuff, so it's it's not really... It's not... It's Never say never, but I don't think it's something that's going to happen in the near future. Pricker frilly fun. <laughs> Ian, you're on fire tonight. Pricker frilly fun. Piccadilly, all the good celebrations out the tub and leave the rubbish ones for others. <laughs> yeah, that always seems to happen to me for some reason. Or you go, you go in the tub of celebrations or little heroes or whatever your poison is. And, like, all you find is wrappers where people have just put the wrappers back. Oh, that annoys me so much. You think you've got, like, a full tub and someone's just, like, eaten them and put the wrappers back. Ocean Spirit, this row is alright, but there's lots of issues with it. Stop markers being in the wrong place. Dot matrix displays are wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, to be fair, I'm I'm probably looking at this more as a, um, a consumer rather than an enthusiast, if that makes sense. So because I, um, I'm not overly familiar with the underground or the route or anything, I'm, I'm kind of just sort of driving this for the fun of it. But yeah. Certainly on like the Brighton Main Line, I sort of look at that and I, I pick up on a lot of stuff. So yeah, I, I can quite believe that there's, there's issues with this. I think the biggest issue for me with this is the station lights not working at night on the outside stations. That's that's a biggie. Baker Who, yeah, we've, well, we've done that one crazy. Logan Spooner, how do they film the in-cab videos with electronics rule? Why is the speed limit so slow around here? So basically, if you're using an electronic device in the cab, you've got to have someone. You can't do it as the driver. You've got to have someone there doing it, and it needs to be someone who's got certain competencies, um, like a manager or a driving instructor or something. So, for the sake of making a YouTube video, getting like a driver manager or a driver instructor um, released from duty to come and do that is just something that's that's going to be very difficult to do. Oh, Jay, my thoughts on Sunday? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, where are we? Charing Cross 
Embankment, Elephant and Castle. We'll just get stopped here and then our... Oh, stop. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so as I said earlier about um, Sunday, I don't, I don't want to speculate too much on that. Um, I don't think it's fair until the report comes out. And, you know, if, if anyone wants to talk about it in the chat, then please do so with, with uh, respect for what's happened. Um, I can only go by the official reports that I've seen. Um, I was horrified to hear that it might have been due to a failure with the signalling system. Um, obviously, as a driver, you put your complete confidence in the signalling system, especially when you're doing like single line working and, and working for single line and stuff like that. So I was horrified to hear that. But today's report suggests that it may have been... Um, driver had a spad due to low adhesion so it looks like the driver's tried to stop at the red light and it just hasn't happened it slid right past which highlights the issue with low adhesion and leaves on the line i mean it is absolutely no joke it, that that is ultimately what can happen and, and unfortunately did happen so i think there's lots of questions to be answered um and it'll be interesting to see what happens when the report comes out but yeah if the fact that it was caused by low adhesion, this is going to sound really weird maybe, but that reassures me a little bit as a driver because no ade low adhesion is a known thing. It is something that, that we know can happen and we do mitigate against it. So you've got to ask why the, whether the mitigation wasn't working or, or whatever the circumstances were. But when it was initially said that it was a fault with the signalling system, that I found that really, really sort of worrying and concerning. We are at embankment... We are very, very late. Josh, thanks for joining us. Hope to see you in a future stream. Let's hop over to Discord very quickly and see what we've got posted in there. So Sam has posted a lovely Thames Trains Turbo. I used to, well, I still do love the Thames Trains livery and logo. Um, I think we should kind of just do like a picture special on bygone liveries. See what, see what people's favourite bygone liveries were. Should we ask that question in the chat now? So what, what liveries do you guys like that you don't see anymore that have gone? Or, or sort of are only on heritage lines now? Yeah, lighting desk. Um, again, I can only go on what the official reports say. I believe that the driver suffered life-changing injuries. Um, there were no fatalities, um, which is very good to hear, but obviously very, very sad about the driver. Right, we're off to Waterloo. I guess we're going to reduce speed. So it looks like we're going to go around a sharp right-hand bend in a minute. It's Chilton livery, not Thames trains. All right, okay. The old EWS livery with the really dark purple was nice. Pig and Bob, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Water in the loo. Yeah, Ian, I'd say, yeah, the Intercity Swallow livery was, was brilliant. Someone hasn't flushed the loo. Definitely need some more practice at underground driving. Wolf boy, good evening. Shark Tales, there is a class 20 dressed in London underground colours. I do believe there is, yes. Uh, it goes out on rail tours quite a lot, that one. Passenger dwell times are really short. We're almost 10 minutes down, that's crazy. Lambeth North, off we go. Yeah, indeed, Robert. Really sad about the um, the injuries to the driver there. It's like I say, it, we're very, very lucky. You know, that incident had the potential to be a lot, lot worse. It's it's very sad for the driver um, and his family, and obviously our thoughts are with him. Crazy Pep, does this train have a dead man handle? Yes, it does. Find the loo as all are closed. 
Where are we off to? Lambeth North. Yeah, Peter, in, in City Swallow Livery was lovely. I saw the 91 um, Swallow Livery. It came across a few weeks ago. Uh, weeks ago, months ago. Logan Spoonie, yeah, I'd be well up for that. If you contact me on uh, my social media channels, um, get in contact with me on Facebook or Twitter, um, yeah, I'd be very interested in doing that. You can't help but think that... Um, uh, I'll be spad rail again in a minute. No, we're good. You can't help but think the Baker Lulai must have been quite an easy one for Dovetail to do in terms of scenery and stuff because bar the stations, once you're in the tunnels, there's not much to model. Lambeth walk as the train is too late. Ian, you are definitely on fire, my friend. You're on fire. Wolf Boy, did the train actually hit something in the tunnel or not? Um, Again, speculation. That was the original report, yes, but I, I believe they're now saying that it was a driver spadded due to low adhesion. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, Logan, drop me a DM on Twitter. That'd be perfect. Um, or you can do it on Discord as well. Whatever's easy for you. Uh, Discord link, invitation link, is in the description below. Yeah, good night, not squawks. I'm going with not squawks for your username. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, nationwide. Um, from what I understand, there was another train. So obviously, it was two trains involved in the incident. One of them had been signalled correctly, as it should have been. Um, the other one was signalled to stop to, to give way to the second train um, and that the driver went to stop at the signal was unable to because of low adhesion and then consequently collided into the other train and derailed again until we oh there's a red hashtag spad rail <laughs> driving on London Underground love it yeah until we get the um, the full story I don't like I said I don't really want to speculate too much but the, the latest in the news was that it was a spad due to low adhesion Henry Yandel, what is a SLU? Uh, SLU is a standard length unit. So length of trains um, in railway terms are measured in SLU, standard length unit. And one SLU is equivalent to uh, 21 feet. I was saying this in the um, the Discord stream the Discord stream the other night, that um, when you take a freight train out, you get issued something called a TOPS list, which will give you your, brakes, your brake force, your weight... Uh, the numbers of all the coaches you've got on your maximum running speed, any restrictions on the train. And it also gives you your train length. And it'll give you your train length in SLU. And it'll give you your train length in metres. Now, SLU, you have to convert to uh, SLU 21 foot per one SLU. Um, but when you go on a class 66 and you program your train length counter in, you have to program it in in feet. So you're given the information in SLU and metres, and the train requires it in feet. So it's kind of nothing marries up, which is just, just really weird. So we're sitting on a red signal at the moment. Um, I might creep a bit closer to it and kind of see if that helps to to pull it off. Because we are really late. There shouldn't be anything in front of us, sort of game-wise. I can't see the signal now. Let's see if we can get it just inside that little window on the right there. Definitely a bit cautious. Wait, oh, stop, stop, stop. Ah, there we go. Crikey. <laughs> Green. Into Elephant and Castle. Yeah, Wolf Boy, I, I kind of had speculated that when they said it had hit something, that was. Uh, that is something that had come to my mind. Nationwide coin hunt, why would you need to know the weight and length, etc, etc? Uh, you need to know the length of your train so you know what loops and stuff you can fit in. Um, so you know when the back of your train's past speed restrictions and stuff like that. Each route you drive over will have a maximum length. 
Likewise with weight as well, there'll be a maximum weight you're permitted. Uh, you need to know as the driver whether your train weighs 2,000 tonnes loaded or 500 tonnes empty because that will affect the way the, way the train performs and the way you drive it. Um, a loaded train takes a lot longer to stop than an empty train, for example, so you do, you do need to know that as the driver. Elephant and Castle, unlock doors. I did just see a question in the stream there that I was going to answer. Um, Henry Yandel, is the Class 66 in Tracing well good? Um, it's good to play, but it's not good when you've actually driven one. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that a bit of work is needed there, to be fair. Um, Jack McTwo thousand seven. if you stop before a signal in real life, you're not allowed to move the train again until it's cleared, are you? Um, typically, Jack, you wouldn't, no. Uh, it depends on the circumstance. If you're, if you're in a station, then no, you definitely wouldn't move the train. Because it's possible that the you could be doing permissive working and the signalman could be bringing another train on in front of you. If you're stopped at a signal out on the main line, you think oh you stopped a bit too far back, then yeah you could draw you could draw up to it without permission. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, Jack two thousand seven J and A's are better to drive loaded. Yeah, absolutely, they most definitely are. Uh, let's get some doors. We're at Elephant and Castle. Do we? Is there a depot or something we go into afterwards, or is it just gonna? It's just going to finish this up. Look at that. What have we done score-wise? Seamus McNeil, how long does it take on average to learn a new route in real life? Um, I would say in real life it depends on the, the actual route itself. Some routes are really easy to learn. Others will take a bit longer. So something like the Brighton Main Line, for example, um, you might get six to eight weeks to learn that route because it's a complicated route. Lots of signals, lots of stations, lots of junctions, lots of speed limits. Um, but then you might get a really simple route like the Rygate branch, for example, Red Hill round to Rygate, and you could get a day's route learning over that. You know, it might be like three or four trips in each direction to learn that. So it does depend um, on the on the uh, individual route. Um, person walking in the background was probably my son. <laughs> he hasn't made me a cup of tea tonight. He did offer, but I've just had a coffee, so he didn't make me a cup of tea tonight. 72 of you lovely people in. If you haven't already, then do please hit that like button and also consider subscribing to Dead Rail. Jackman 2007, do you ever get stopped in Waller's Ash Loop on 4 Yankee 19? If so, how long is the loop? I believe Waller's Ash can hold 120 slew. It's a long old loop. Uh, occasionally get stopped in there on the upward working, but not normally on the downward working. Uh, Wilf Boy, yeah, I'm in contact with Dovetail Games. Um, I can't say too much about my involvement with them, but. Um, yeah, need, needless to say, I, I, I am speaking to Dovetail Games. Let's put the Discord up on the screen and see what's going on over there. We've got helicopters in the Discord. Excellent. We'd like some chopper action. <laughs> We've got some bus channels and other transport channels in the Discord service. If you're not already in there, link is in the description below. Um, so, guys, should we do... We've been going for an hour and three minutes. It's been quite a short stream. There's 71 of you still here. Shall we do something else? Shall we jump into another route and play about? What do you guys want? Um, uh, I wouldn't mind having another go in the 313 because I've only had a little play in that. But uh, yeah, you guys tell me what you'd like me to do. Uh, we're good to keep going for a little while longer. Four Yankee 19 seems to run a late late a lot upward worker normally leaves early and sits at Milbrook for ages yeah you're not um, you won't get a pathway out Jack that's why can you convince them to make the Tyne Valley line and paces yeah my my involvement is not that deep unfortunately Peter Green what routes do you have um, if we're in train sim well not a lot um, I tell you what let me put the game screen up and you guys can see I hope very soon to have um have a lot of routes for them. Uh, Joshua, I'm going to stick to Train Sim World for this one, but the next stream I do, I will definitely be doing Train Sim 2022 in the next stream. Uh, a few people have asked me for that one. Um, I've got to go back again, haven't I? Right, so there are our options, guys. We've got London Commuter, Dresden, Boston Sprinter, South Eastern High Speed, Isle of Wight. We could continue the tube theme on the Isle of Wight. Sandpatch Grade, 
Uh, yeah, if you think I'm going to pronounce that, you're wrong. <laughs> Bakerloo line, obviously, East and East Coast way. So, um, oh, thanks, Logan. I'll uh, pick that up later. So, yeah, tell me what you fancy, guys. I quite fancy having another got the Island line, which reopened this week, so that would be um, that would be fitting. Um, or we can do a free one, free run on the East Coast way. Dad rail, make a dad rail livery in the editor. Yeah, crazy pep. Um, I can't say too much about about my involvement, but um, I'm I'm in contact with them about that at the moment. So, hint to dovetail. You want a prize for your 10k sub giveaway? <laughs> Actually, do you know what they they sent me a key for the free one free, which was very kind of them. So I could have I, I used it for myself. I could have kind of given it away. Um, Isle of Wight free one free German one with PZB East Coast way. Um, yeah, I'm not pronouncing that one, Sam. Isle of Wight. Pretty 50-50 at the moment. I say you attempt to pronounce the German line or that Welsh town name. Right. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Schenle Farstrecken Köln. Schenle Farstrecken Köln. Ah, yeah. Right, I gave it a go. Come on. Come on, that's got to be worth a like in itself. Just, just attempting to say that's got to be worth a like. Uh, Isle of Wight, East Coast Way, 313, East Coast Way, Isle of Wight also. Yeah, lots of love for the Isle of Wight, so I think we'll do um, an Isle of Wight run. And the next stream I am going to be doing the... Um, I am definitely kind of frost East Coast Way. Next stream I'm definitely going to be doing some Train Sim Classic, so let me know what you'd like to see in that one. I might do the Fife Circle. I had a little play on the Fife Circle with the 68 the other day, so I may jump in that. Uh, have a little play in that. Timetables. We'll do a daytime run. We'll, we'll, make, we'll make it sunny. Because I'm a bit boring like that. Um, we do a ride pier head to Shanklin. What's everyone feeling? Yeah, Jay, that's what I thought. It's just reopened this week. I was hoping to get over there this week, but with moving and stuff, it just hasn't um, hasn't worked out. Night tracks, I would, but I can only like once. That is the perfect answer. No arguing with that. What we'll do as well now is we'll get rid of the Halloween overlays, I think. Actually, no, I won't, because as soon as I start clicking things, the stream will probably go down again. So you'll have, you'll have to put up with the Halloween overlays for now. Now, last time I tried to drive this route, it all went horribly wrong. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Right, key is in. Um, I've got to remember all the commands for this as well. Forward. Uh, doors are... Um, I want to say U and I for doors. Is that correct? Nope. Someone in the chat, what's the door commands? Uh, headlight. On instrument lights, on J. No, no TPWS on this. What are the commands for the doors? Um, controls, keyboard controls, A, B, C, tab. Oh, yeah, of course, we can use the tab, can't we? Yeah. Right, here we go. Unlock left. I do think this, this route looks lovely. This is this is one of the ones they've done a good job of. Um, I think we've got to go back in order to turn on the saloon lights, though. We've got to go back to the guards panel, I believe. Um, where is the guards panel? There we go. Uh, is there a key to put in or something in the guards panel to turn the lights on? No, nothing's working. On the left side of the right side guards panel. Press to speak. No, I must be at the wrong guards panel. Is there another guards panel? 
Oh, never mind. We won't worry too much about it. We'll see how well we get on with this. Shame there's no Tatman Corner Run. I know how much you love that section. <laughs> Who ever told you that, Connor? It might have been me the other day, actually. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? It was never going to work. Right. Off. So have I got my brakes applied there? Are my brakes released? Oh, I knew I was going to get issues with this. We're in forward, aren't we? Yep, we're in forward. Main res 0.1. That's got to be full application then. That's got to be fully released. So, if we got an overload or something, I've got to do. Overload reset, maybe? Doors are shut, aren't they? Lock both. Okay. So did I have doors open? We've got power now. Yeah, I've done the key. I've done that one down the bottom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a good start. It's a good start. We got it moving. Tripod. Yeah, I don't like the tile texture on the water um, on this, which I mentioned before. See, what are the middle tracks for then? On the the right there. Your brakes are fully I'm full applied on the brakes. That's full release there, isn't it? Yeah, we're in we're in full release there. Right. Sorry, the, the chat's like about ten seconds behind the stream, so I just get a little bit confused. That's alright. Okay, so we're coming into Ride Espelade. No, we're not in the... Uh, those are not tracks. <laughs> Third rail power. Oh, the brakes on this are really harsh as well. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little bit of brake goes a long way, that's for sure. Right, doors. Unlock right. Uh, we've got to crouch down to get out as well. Come on, people. On you get. Think they were an old tramway. Oh, that's interesting, Midlands. Older, hello. Water looks awful. Adding the hovercraft near the station would have been a nice touch. No, I completely agree with you, um, Wolf Boy. The water does not look good at all. The, the tile texture for it is far too small. I think water can be um, pretty demanding to model, though. <laughs> Jay, don't forget to set the DRA. Green light, off we go. We're off to Ride St. John's. You can break only using the minimum brake. It seems really harsh, to be fair. So what is going on over on Discord right now? We have got some 66 being posted. And a 7, ah, oh, class 50, a Hoover. Absolutely love those. I've never ridden, ridden behind one. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, the original Microsoft train simulator featured a class um, 50 on the Settle and Carlisle line, which is really uh, a really good drive. 
if you want to post anything in there, link is in the description below, and we are in the live stream picture, um, picture page type thing. <laughs> uh, so let's jump back in the game. I'm cheating actually because while I've got the Discord up, I'm trying to turn on the um, uh, next speed limit marker. There we go. So I actually know what I'm doing. Although to be fair, I should probably route learn the island line because it's, it's not a particularly long route, so it wouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, right, braking is on that one. I thought I turned on my next speed limit marker, but it hasn't come on for some reason. Never mind. Lighting Dash, you should try watching a pacer going at line speed. It's like a bounce house. Yeah, I can believe it. Oh, beautiful semaphore signals. We do love a good semaphore. Track access point. I'd love to see you play tra classic train sim. Yeah, I did mention before that I, I might see if I can get my hands on a copy of it. It, it would be quite a good, um, quite a good experience to sort of compare then and now. Clickety clack. <laughs> oh, my my um, son's into Peppa Pig big time, and uh, clickety clack, clickety clack. The train goes down the track. Huff and puff. Now, if I start singing, you see, someone's going to record it and make a meme out of it because that keeps happening. <laughs> Northern Princess, illu, illu, illu. How is um, life with your new employer? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Fishbob, hello. Beautiful. One yellow, clears to green. But being that we are in absolute block area, uh, we must assume because the distance was on. Was the distance on or off? I can't remember. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Ian, the Titan Weir, I believe the Titan Weir Metro has got new stock running on it. Yeah, the distance must have been on. Because we got a red at the end of the platform. Passengers through the windscreen. So this is where the depot is, and isn't it? Right, right, St. John's. Yeah. Yeah, it does. This is this is. I think this is one of the. Um, in my opinion, and I don't know the island line very well, but I think this is one of the better routes, uh, for sure. Oh, Tiny Weir has new stock ordered, but it's not been built yet. Um, oh, of course, it's not Tiny Weir, is it? It's Mersey Rail, I think. They've just had new stock delivered. Smallbrook Junction! Go via location, so we're not stopping there. Steam operating days only. Yeah, I don't think it was the Tyne and Weir um, Northern Princess. It was, uh, was getting confused with the um, Mersey Rail. Forty-five. Let's rock and roll. Two cars. Come, we should be clear. So we're not getting much speed. Do I need to go into forward two, maybe? There we go. I wonder if that's like a, a weak field kind of serious parallel thing. Jay, yes, I have ridden this in real life quite a while ago. Yeah, Mersey Rail 777. That's the ones I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, we, I, um, my company worked with the delivery of those, and I had a nosy round one when they were when they were still being delivered. Still had the polystyrene on the seats when I when I was fortunate enough to have a look around one. 
nice unit. It's interesting. They, they're a bit tram-like on the inside, I thought. They, they kind of remind me of, of being on a tram. Yeah, correct lighting desk. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a roller coaster fan as such, but I'm probably a, a passing theme park enthusiast. Uh, I'd love to ride the ultimate at Lightwater Valley. I really would. Right, we're going to braiding. Does it have two tones? Uh, no, it doesn't. Fish boats are moving to forward to uh, around 15 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm assuming it's like a kind of series parallel wheat field kind of arrangement that they've got going on. I'm guessing sort of forward one is in series, and if you go to uh, forward two, you're you're putting the motors into parallel. That would be my guess. Crazy pet, what is the weirdest thing you've seen out on the rails in real life? I don't know, really. <laughs> That's a good question. Tiny Metro is technically a tram system due to the gauge falling just shy of standard gauge. Oh, okay. The sounds in this are quite good. The run sounds are really nice. Coasting board. Brakes are really sharp though. Yeah, I'm jealous now. I've got to go to Lightwater Valley and ride the Ultimate. I mean, there, there was talk that it might be torn down, so hopefully it'll still be there for a little while to, to, a little while to go yet. Could you drive a train with gears like a 101? I struggle. Peter, um, look back at some of my first streams. We've done diesel railcar simulator, which obviously you have to change gear on. Um, I thought I'd done quite well. <laughs> but, uh, there's some really good videos on YouTube, like uh, old BR training videos on 101s. They're certainly more involved and interesting to drive, that's for sure. Love the jointed track. I don't know if this is still jointed track along here or whether they relayed it um, when they've done the upgrades. They would be outraged if they tore down the ultimate. Yeah, it's. I think it should be given like a listed, listed building, listed um, structure status or something like that. So 64 of you lovely people still here, moved away from the original Bakerloo line plan now, we finished that bit, so we're doing uh, Island line now. If you haven't already, do hit that like button and consider subscribing, that would be awesome. We're speeding, never mind. Yeah, I think the Island line is certainly a very unique railway. Wi-Fi boy. Is it Wi-Fi boy or Wilf boy? My eyes are not good. <laughs> Wilf boy. This lacks cab bounce. Riding on the previous train was better than any ride at Alton Towers. The amount he bounced up and down. Yeah, I've I've um, I've mentioned that before. Like, If you look at Open BVE and Diesel Railcar Simulator, the bounce physics is really good. And I think on Train Sim World and, and Train Sim Classic, it's not, not quite as good. Oh, we're nearly on time. Almost on time. What's going on over in the Discord server? Let's have a little look. We're posting underground pictures now. Excellent. Best locos there are. 
If you're not already in there, guys, link in the description below. You're very welcome to join our uh, lovely server over on Discord. Lock doors. So we should be, I'm guessing, into power what forward one. Uh, take the break off will be useful as well. Sam Brooks, you're supposed to use the low tone at a whistle board. Most drivers, or some drivers, will use both tones, but the rule book says low tone. So now we're going into forward two. Dadrail, turn up the camera move so it's more realistic. Um, I think we're set pretty high on that anyway. Camera sway level is at 200%. That is as high as it goes. So, yeah, the bounce physic definitely isn't as good as it could be. We are heading for Sandown, platform 2. Terry Holland, love your streams, learning loads. Pleased to hear it, Terry. Any questions you've got, do post them and I will try my best to uh, to answer them. Certainly not my area of expertise, uh, underground stock or um, or the island line, but yeah, pl plenty of people in the chat that will be happy to help you out. And if you're on Discord, Terry, then... Um, if you're not linked in the description below, but if you're over on our Discord server, there's loads of people over there. We've got train crew and, and people in there who'd be more than happy to um, to answer your questions as well. Sandown where the main passing loop is. Are we going to get a train passing us then at Sandown? That is the question. We did have one earlier. Um, I don't know how many trains they normally run on this on a daily service. I think Fishpo is from Isle of Wight. One that yellow. It looks promising. down way too early. I'm, I'm being far too far too gentle with the controls with this train. I need to remember I'm driving a, a, an underground train and not a mainline train. Jamie Trains Class 158, hello. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, let's get some serious brake in there. I think the brakes are... I mean, I know the brakes would be really sharp on this anyway, but I think they're far too sharp. Yeah, Midlands Transport Hub. Good question there. You know you have to wait until the back of your train um, before you speed up. Yeah, you need to wait until the back of your train has passed the speed board before you speed up. How do you know when the back of the train has passed? Is it an estimate or route knowledge? Generally speaking, you're just guessing. Some trains, um, freight trains, 60s, 60, 67s, I think 68s have got it as well, have got um, train length counters. So you put the length of your train into the um, train length counter. You press a button as the front of your train goes past and it'll beep at you to tell you when the back is, is clear. Um, but a lot of the time you're just estimating it. Very, yeah, hello Jamie, welcome to the stream. Good to see new faces. If you have any questions, like I said uh, earlier on, then do please post them and I'll try my best to answer them. Oh, that's good to hear, Northern Princess Productions. When I go from London Underground slot to normal, I find the speed hard to judge because of the height difference. Yeah, because, of course, you're very close to the ground um, on this, aren't you? So there we are in the Discord. We've got no more...
pictures posted. Dan H has commented, excellent, best locos there are. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord already, link in the description below. We're in the live stream picture post. So if you want to post your pictures in there, I will get them up on the um, on the screen. Uh, just reading your comments here. Alder, hello. Welcome back. Uh, what else have we got that I've missed in the comments here? I think I've answered most of the questions so far. We're doing all right. Sets DRA. Yeah, no no DRA on these. Incidentally, um, even a lot of modern freight locos, the Class 66, for example, doesn't have a DRA on it. And when I was driving passenger trains for so long, you stop at a red, it's like, brake step free, DRA, neutral. And that was your habit. And you've got no DRA on this. It's, it's a bit kind of, takes a bit of getting used to it. It's a little bit weird, to be fair. <laughs> it's like Northern Prince of Construction. It's like going from driving a go-kart to driving an HGV. That's, yeah, that's probably a pretty good way of putting it, actually. Um, right, I've got a red signal, but it's telling me to lock the doors. So, in real life, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't close the doors till the signal come off. But I know the way the simulator works. Uh, I know the way the simulator works, that it, it won't um, start the next sequence or action, the next event, until you've completed the previous one. Uh, what do you mean Midlands Transfer Hub seem more stretched on the screen? Right, we're red ahead. I don't know where the signal is, but we're red ahead. Uh, we should be doing 15 coming out of there. Never mind. Let's go. <laughs> Ian, I'm getting a can of 1664. Can you be done for virtual driving under the influence? <laughs> well, uh, let's put that in. Let's put that in forward two. If you're in the Patreon only live stream, I was very much under the influence when I was driving last week. So, <laughs> that was a good laugh. That was a good laugh. Um, you can't get the Discord link to work. Is it just me? It should be working okay. Uh, can one of the mods just check the Discord link's working and post back for me? I'm pressing decelerate. Get some braking. Come on. Bad stop that, I'll take that. We'll have that, that wasn't a bad stop. That wasn't a bad stop at all. Oh, trampoline in the garden, washing line. The detail on this is, is actually really good. They, they've made a pretty decent job of this. I'm actually really impressed with the, the level of detail. It is little things like the trampoline and the washing in the garden there, you know, that, that kind of really do add that level of realism to it and this the football goal over there as well ah, this is this is this is a good route this is a good route uh no i don't get that far up north lighting desk um i'm based down in the southeast so um yeah furthest north i've driven was um got some wheel slip going on there Furthest north I've driven, I, I drove up to Northampton um, under instruction, and not north, but I drove up to Colchester, which is sort of Anglia, isn't it, rather than north, but... We're off to Shanklin, one mile away. Track work at Escalade is wrong, and the platform heights are wrong. I could say not not having a great knowledge of the route. I kind of just like the level of detail and stuff they, that's been put into this. Uh, I believe this was a Rivet Games and not a Dovetail add-on. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but it does feel really nice. Of course, we got the West Cornwall being released on Thursday. 
Um, I am hoping to stream on Thursday, so that will be uh, the West Cornwall. Hopefully all future releases I'll have them a little bit early, so I'll be able to preview them uh, a little bit earlier. But uh, Thursday, definitely hoping to have a look at the West Coast. So we're coming into Shankling. Um, I'm happy to keep going, guys. If you guys want, we can do East Coastway 313. We can have another go at that. Maybe just a, a Brighton to Seaford service or something. Um, and then wrap it up after that. But yeah, let, let me know if you would like me to do a Brighton to Seaford on the East Coastway. I know there's a few people wanted East Coastway earlier. Yeah, Rivet Games. Thank you, uh, Wolfboy. Uh, better get some serious breaking. Yeah, I feel like this this would be quite an easy route to actually route learn properly and give a decent drive on it. Yeah, Midlands Transport Hub, they did a spectacular job of it. Yeah, indeed. I'd, I'd completely agree with you. Oh, there's buffer stops there. Hashtag crash rail. Oh, that's a good stop. I'll take that. Doors unlocked left. Could you do the first last service of the day on Island Line? It lets you shunt it in the depot. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to be in the dark fishbowl. And I don't think dark runs look very good on the stream. Um, it might just be me, but I think they look a bit kind of, well, dark. <laughs> for want of a, of a better word. Um, uh, good evening, Noah. And Peter888. Hello Dabra, loving the dedication that you've put towards your channel and making sure the quality is up to date. Hats off to you and I wish you all the best. Uh, Chaddy, I want to say your username is. Thank you very much for that comment. That's uh, very much appreciated. Um, so guys, we're at the end of this one. I'm happy to do a run on the East Coast. Uh, I've only played on the 3 on 3 briefly, but I'm happy to do a, a Brighton down to Seaford. Uh, if you guys would like me to do that. If you haven't already as well, then do please hit that like button and also to subscribe to Dadrail. 10,000 subscribers by Christmas is my goal. That means that my son does the washing up Christmas Day and not me. Uh, can we have change of conditions like rain or snow? Yeah, we can do that in the rain. Um, Mega Loden, a 5. Maybe a freight service. Um, we could do a freight service. Uh, not today, though. Not today. I'm, I'm not impressed with the 66. I'm going to get the... Armstrong Powerhouse one on Train Sim Classic and have a play with that. So, how are we doing right there? Yeah, not too bad. We'll take that. We'll take that. A little bit of speeding, but nothing too bad. 375. I kind of feel like I've done message deleted. <laughs> Apparently, Jay, you've been done for spamming by Nightbot for commenting 375. I don't know why that's classed as spamming. <laughs> I think because you posted it twice. I feel like I've done the 375 and the um, the, the 375 in the London commute. I feel like I've done it to death. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a free one free. Um, what I'm going to do though, I need to get a drink because my throat's going. So I am going to do a free one free run Brighton to Seaford in the rain. We'll do it in the rain. Yes, Rafe, we'll do it in the rain. Um, we're going to do a free one free in the rain though, not a 375. Uh, so I'm just going to go and grab a quick drink for two minutes because my throat's starting to hurt. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with the Discord. Link in the description below if you're not already in there. Give me two minutes and we will jump straight back in. Whilst you're waiting, if you know anyone that would like this stream, then please do <laughs> share it out and let them comment. Uh, share it out and uh, invite them in. That would be awesome.
Okay, we're back. Got a lovely cab picture there as well on the um, on the Discord. Right, what button are we pressing? Let's get the button sorted out. That one there. There we go. Um, I'm going to try and turn off the Halloween overlays and hope it doesn't break. Uh, dooby dooby doo. Right. Spider animation. Goodbye. Overlays. Good. No, not those overlays. Um, Halloween. That bit's gone. Wee! We didn't break it. It didn't break. It didn't break. Uh, let's just do the same on Halloween. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> we're we're back. We're back to being a standard stream again. Right, now that's working, let's jump into the game. So, 313, let's get out of this main menu. That is a beautiful screenshot there, that is lovely. Uh, back again. East Coast Way. Explore, timetable. 313. Right, we'll put the precipitation up and we'll put the wetness up and we'll give it a little bit of cloud and lots of wind. 313. Oh, we're in November as well, so we'll um, see what happens in terms of wheel slip and stuff. Your link on the scroll board has an extra R in Patreon. Ah, oh, thanks for pointing that out, Robert. <laughs> Minty Aviation, I like your house. The LEDs on the ceiling look nice. Uh, thank you, Minty Aviation. They do, um, but we're moving. I only I only put those in about three or four months ago. Now we're moving, so it's all got to be left behind, unfortunately. Stick a bit of snow on to give it a bit more realism. Yeah, but the snow doesn't look good, in my opinion. Like the um, I don't I don't think the snow looks particularly good. A few people asking for snow. Right, what are we doing? It's a shame there isn't an eSpawn run um, with the 313. I guess you could probably download a scenario that's got that, but it'd be really nice to have an eSpawn run with it. Um, 2 Charlie 30 Brighton to Seaford. We'll give that one a go. 1240. If you have the Brighton mainline, the 387 spawns on the Route 2, and you can get a 377 slash 7 repaint for it. Operate an all stop service to Seaford. So, uh, let's sort out the heads up display first. So, I want the next speed limit marker off. Um, but I want it on the HUD. We don't need the next signal on the HUD, though. Right, unlock doors. Okay. So, first things first. AWS are in. Key on. Into neutral. I do love the sounds on this. The, sa the sounds are good. Uh, opening the doors. So normally we should do brake testing and all things like that. But we're going to cheat and not do those. We'll open the window as well so we can hear the motors. Oh, I'll do some headlights as well. So all those people were trapped on the train waiting for the driver. Uh, there is a nice picture of the Pacific Sun Finer in the Livestream Pitch channel. Let's have a quick look at that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Amtrak. Uh, those, lo th those locos are just so big. You can kind of see it compared to the people there. They're, just, they're ginormous. Humongous. Absolutely massive. So, what was I going to do? Lights. That's a good idea. That looks a bit better. Right, lock doors. Let's see if we can successfully complete this. They saw who was driving. <laughs> yeah, thanks Peter for that picture. Lovely. Right, into forward. 
Or have I just gone into off by mistake? Yeah, I've gone into off, haven't I? Right, it's a good start. Right, off we go. Stop at location, London Road. Yeah, so I, there's no 387s in here at the moment, but I have got the, um, obviously the London commuter installed. Brighton Station looks a bit derelict. Oh, we've got rain, we've got rain. So where is the windscreen wiper control? That looks like it there. Slow. E for East Coastway. The rain does look nice, but I feel like I should have had a bit more cloud in because we, it looks like it, it looks like we should have a, a rainbow. Hashtag trainbow. My drink, um, Mickey Mouse cup. Uh, I'm drinking uh, Robinson Summer Fruits. No, nothing too interesting. Josh Brown train to Screenford. Oh, keeping the Halloween theme going, Josh. I like it. London Road Viaduct. So we're going up to 30. Oh, look at the sun glare on that. That is that is lovely. Um Porter Gaming, is it harder to drive a train here or in real life? Uh, in the simulator, definitely Porter. Um, I say in the simulator, in terms of like stopping and accelerating, it's um, easier in real life because you can actually feel the the movement of the train and how much it's uh, decelerating. Look, I've been driving tube trains and now I can't stop. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, you, you, you can kind of feel the movement of the train and feel exactly how much it's the, the inertia of the train. Um, which you can't do on a simulator but obviously when you're driving in real life you can't just walk up and get a drink like I just did there um, you know you can't go to the toilet when you want you can't just let yourself get distracted so the actual driving I'd say was easier in real life in terms of stopping and going but I think yeah um, you know dri driving a train in real life is completely different to driving on, on train sim full stop I think that was a really really Bodged explanation to that question. <laughs> Locked doors. I feel like we should have had a guard on this as well. Um, I don't know if that mechanism is possible in um, where the doors close automatically. That that would have been a better way of, of doing this train. So I'm going to pull away a notch two because I don't want to get too much wheel slip. Uh, we're off to Morsecombe. Yeah, Rave the Train Spot. Class 66 wipers are really, really awful. They're air operated. They're temperamental. Sometimes they'll stop. You turn them off, turn them back on again. There we go, Max. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It would have been really nice if, if the doors had closed on their own and we'd had the bell going off because these trains are operated, obviously, in real life with a conductor on them. Yeah, no, Jasper, that's, you, you've, you've answered that question much better than me. Yeah, similar to driving a car in real life and on a sim. Yeah, exa exactly the same there. So, 72 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to Dad Rail. That would be awesome. If you are new to the channel and you've just subscribed this evening, then you are very welcome to um, DadRail. Really great to have you here. Your name normally comes up on the screen and I get a notification when people subscribe, but I think there's issues with uh, my Streamlabs tonight and that's not working for some reason. <laughs> you definitely tell I've been driving underground trains. So I'm in brake step two at the moment. It'd be really handy to get a two on the um, instrument cluster. I need to feed that back to Dovetail, actually. Hashtag overshoot. Come on, brake step three. We don't want to use emergency. 
back to two, into three again, back to two, back to one for the stop, to make it nice and gentle. Right, if I'm doing this properly, I'm going to go into neutral and I'm going to open the doors. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next stop, Monster Comb. <laughs> you're still on fire, Ian. It's obviously that can of that can of Cronenberg you're drinking. I don't know if it's helped or not, though. Jasper Herridge, who's the one that disliked? One dislike. Ah, oh. we did have someone in here um, earlier who was spamming a lot, so I guess it could have been that person. Yeah, the mod's done an excellent job in, in getting that under control, so thank you to all the all the moderators tonight. We are off to Falma. A light here for the Amex Stadium. Is this the Frighten Express? <laughs> The Frighten Express. I like that. I like that. Frighten Express. I feel like if I do another Halloween stream, I should kind of dress up for it as well. Northern Princess, I'm going to drop out because I need to do film some flying videos. But happy driving and I'll slide into your DMs with a suggestion. Yeah, great stuff. Thanks for joining us. Do the passengers have brollies? That would have been a nice little touch. I, I doubt it, but that would have been a really nice little touch. Train Sim Depot. Train Sim Videos Weekly. Good evening. I love the fact you're advertising your channel and your username. That is such a good idea. I'm jealous I didn't. Martin, good evening. I'm very late, but very merry thanks to the pub. Just got on the train home at Waterloo. Whereabouts are you off to, Martin? I'm jealous. So, 45 over 60, 45 applying to um, class, uh, locomotive hauled class. Do, 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 get some brakes in. Four, four, six, seven, eight, and eight trains. I put the brakes and I press the brake button. Come on. No headlights on that one. Oh no, we have. There we go. Is it going to be tea and biscuits with the manager, or are we going to stop? That's not even a bad stop as it goes. A bit fast, but. So, free, neutral, and doors because we're kind of driving properly. Young Showy, good evening. Megalodon 5, have you possibly driven on the Eli West freight curve? No, I'm, like I said, I'm down in the southeast, so my main areas are Kent, Sussex, Surrey, and Hampshire. Um, I sort of go north, north as, as far north as I go, it's like Wilson Junction. Next stop, former. Wait until 12.50. We, and 53 seconds. That's very, very precise. Doors will close 30 seconds prior to departure, though. Down to Basingstoke. Slightly later tonight because of recent events. Yeah, I, I sign... Uh, going to forward, it helps, isn't it? I signed down the, the southwestern main line, but only. Um, I signed round the back roads of via Staines and Chertsey, then out onto the southwestern at uh, Byfleet and Newhall, then all the way down to Eastley and Southampton. Jay Callow, which speed limits do zero head close light locos follow? Light locos will follow the higher speed limit, Jay. So they follow the same, same speed limit as passenger trains. However, if you're driving light loco then there's additional rules that apply. So you are limited to 60. If the line speed 
is less than 90 miles an hour. As a light loco, you're restricted to 60 miles an hour. If the line speed is above 90 miles an hour, then as a light engine, you can do 75 miles an hour. However, I believe that the Class 68 has special dispensation on that, and it can actually run at 100. So we are heading down to Lewis. And it is down to Lewis as well, it's downhill all the way. I'm enjoying the sun shower. Give yourself a rainbow, it should be a rainbow. I do highly, young show, I'd highly recommend the Great Western GWR. That's why I'm not getting any brakes, because I'm using the BVE commands. I've <laughs> too much playing BVE lately. I'm using the wrong, key, wrong keyboard button. Oh, okay, Minty. I'm going to be in Eastley on Friday. No, Saturday. I'm going down to. Um, I'm going bowling in Eastley on Saturday, actually. I'm going to meet some friends down there. It's some of my nose birthday. Uh, Port Gaming, how old do you have to be to drive trains for a living? 21 uh, in UK mainland. I believe underground. Do you know what? I've got I've got the brakes on and I've got power on. That's really bad. I believe underground is 18. Ian Bradley, we could sing Rainbow. Yeah, you, you can, Ian. <laughs> I've got visions of you sitting there now in front of your computer or telly or whatever it is with a can of beer singing rainbow. <laughs> Luke, good evening. Wolf boy, going like a bat out of hell. Yeah, 55 coming up. We're going downhill, so I'm just going to let that roll. Yeah, Max, we may, we may make that happen at some point. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of demand for SCR, but I'm, I'm not feeling it myself. Ah, so we've got, yeah, no, we're, we're sliding under braking conditions. So I'm releasing my brakes. I'm expecting the speed to... Okay, that's a bit strange. So I've got wheel slide under braking conditions, but it, it doesn't feel particularly, um, particularly realistic. So I've put brake step one in. Yeah, we've got wheel slide, but the speed's, st speed's still coming down as it should do. So I'm going to go into like full brake and see if we can make this slip. No. Paul Day, good evening. I really hate those hold stops. You can't beat the view from a class 700. To be fair, the visibility on them is superb. It is superb. There is another 313 with no headlights. Ah, oh, there we go. The draw distance on the headlights isn't isn't particularly good. <laughs> there we go, Ian. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. We get all sorts in here. <laughs> oh, Nightbot doesn't like that, Ian. Nightbot doesn't like it. It's, it's warning you. I think it's be, being a bit over the top tonight with the moderation. <laughs> right, so we got this 10 coming up. Better get some brakes in for Lewis. So we're doing the West Cornwall route on... Um, we're doing the West Cornwall route on um, Thursday. That is the intention. Thursday, 8.30 on the channel I'll be doing West Cornwall. I've not had any early access of that or anything so I'll be very very interested to see um, what it looks like. Carl's Garden Rower, have you been to the bus depot in Hastings um, at Bulverhive? 
Not Bulba Hive, sorry, that's the railway depot. <laughs> I know where I mean, in Silver Hill, yes. Um, I went up there to collect some lost property a couple of years ago. That's the only time I have been up there. <laughs> you singers ain't like, do you? No, Nightbot doesn't like singing. Doesn't appreciate it. Oh, lights just went off somewhere. Right, so I'm doing this properly. Neutral and doors. Are you driving with the dynamic brakes on or off? I believe they're off by default, which is how I've got them set. Um, where can I enable the dynamic brakes? Uh, no idea what that switch is doing. Yeah, where, where can I enable the dynamic brakes? I'll be quite interested to see how it performs differently with the dynamic brakes on. Is there a button on the panel for it? Oh, the lights have come back on. <laughs> He's over 50p for the meter. Off we go into forward. We've got a green signal. We are 10 miles an hour. Power notch one and we're slipping. Awesome. Yeah, I think you're right, um, Max. I think Southern drives with them off. But I'd be quite interested to see uh, how they're simulated, though. Oh, dynamic brake control. Yes, yeah, so the MCB's down, so presumably that is on. Switch on T. Uh, let's get out the seat and have a little look. Back wall, second row of switches. Yeah, dynamic brake control is in the up position. Surely if it's up, it's cut out because everything is everything else is down for in. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I saw that on the um, Wolf Boy. New layers on the Cornwall route look good. Extra low coats and stuff. Yeah, I think they were right to delay it in that respect. One yellow, which is the correct signalling sequence. Uh, 40 across Southern Junction, but obviously we are approaching a red light. So let's see if anything different happens with the brakes. Yeah, so I think the dynamic brakes were already on. I think I've actually just turned them off. Yeah, I, I reckon I've just turned them off, to be fair. Uh, red ahead. Let's get across Southern and then I'll, I'll have another little look. So red ahead, 20 for the AWS magnet would be standard. Uh, can see the route indicator, we've got a green, we're 40 across the junction. Forty-ish across the junction. Yes, they are off. Dynamic brakes is a known bug. Yeah, I, I know. In the um, I know there's been a lot of chat about the dynamic brakes and stuff. So we are off to Southies. 
Come on, train, pick your feet up. Six, six, you lovely people here. If you haven't already, then please do hit that like button. That would be awesome. Trying to get up to uh, 100 likes on this video if we can. I don't know how many we've got right now. Uh, let's have a little look, see if it tells me. Oh, we're up to 32. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, if you're, if you're one of the 65 people here, please do hit that like button. That would be awesome. Actually, we're probably up to more than that because I think the last stream crashed. So... Getting distracted by my phone. Ah, 77. Oh, thank you very much, guys. So, uh, we're past the watershed, aren't we? <laughs> There's a very, very interesting video at Southeast Station. Uh, if you're over 18. Uh, Atora, 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 welcome to Dadrail. Either you are the first person to subscribe this evening, or the overlays were broken. I think my Halloween bits might have been blocking it for some reason. Yeah, if you are if you are over 18 and have access to certain websites uh, of an adult nature, and you type in Southeast Station, there is uh, um, an interesting video, but only if you're 18. We're going to overshoot, aren't we? We're going to overshoot. No, we're not. That's a good stop. It's coming in too slow on the the underground routes. Coming in too fast on the mainline routes. There's no middle ground. We'll take that. We'll take that. Right, neutral. And get those doors open. Why we are loading at Southeast? Let's jump into the Discord. Oh, we've got some miniature railways going on today. Lovely, love a bit of miniature railway. Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. That looks like Romney Hive and Dimchurch. Superb. And we've got a Voyager. <laughs> I've said it before. I quite like Voyagers. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I do like a Voyager. Right, lock doors. Off we go. <laughs> Raygun has found said video. Yeah, obviously I can't post a link to it because YouTube will definitely demonetize me for that. I'll, I'll lose my 50p. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. You're talking about Uber websites, right? <laughs> so we are 60 mile an hour, and then we drop down to 35. I thought we were 60 mile an hour. Freight's 60, isn't it, through here? Freight drops to 60. No, freight's 50. I signed this bit of the route, so I should know that. We dropped to south 60 just before southeast, then it goes 70 over 50 from southeast to New Haven. You're determined to get that SCR string. I think I feel like I should invite you around, Matt. I know Max personally, so I'm alright saying that. I feel like I should invite you around, Max, and we should do like an SCR string together. Or you kind of sit here and stream it, and I'll just watch. Yeah, Rega, more along the lines of Tinder. <laughs> See, if we were on the Patreon-only live stream, we could we could probably like screen share something like that, but we can't do it in the public stream.
Yeah, I think on a 750 volt DC system, the 50p in the meter might get the wheels turning once. Put power knots one in, and that's gone. Especially with the price of electricity. What what do you guys think about um, Freightliner shedding all their electric locos and bringing the 66s back out because it's because diesel's cheaper than electric. That's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, we're going to bust that to 35 minutes with some braking. Yeah, the 35 starts quite a long way back here. I thought it would have been closer to the crossing, but it, it does start a long way back. Which is the same as it is in real life. I've got the brakes fully released, so why are we slowing down so much? Brakes are fully released. Speed is coming down really quickly. Right, it was wheel slipping and the speed was coming off like that. There's a definite, definite issue there with the uh, wheel slip dynamic. Because wheel slip will actually stop you slowing down. And I was fully released on the brakes there. What you'd expect to see if you're wheel slipping, if your wheels lock. You'd expect to see the speedo come down, but the speed not to actually, um, not to decrease. So the speedo would come down as the wheels, the rotation on the wheels kind of isn't as it should be. But your speed won't decrease. And when you release the brakes, you'd expect to see the speedo kind of bounce back up to your correct speed as the wheels are turning freely again. So that's, the dynamics on that maybe need looking at a little bit. New Haven Town. Jay, what is the Southies video? The Southies video is X rated. <laughs> it has a 313 in it, though, to be fair. Yeah. So it is on topic. Jay, you'd, you'd need to access websites that require you to use incognito mode on, on Chrome um, and then search for it. That's that's all I can say. Because we are a family friendly stream. Right, 20 over 35 down to New Haven Harbour. Lock the doors. We're already in forward because I've been naughty and left it in forward. I can't find it on any of the popular ones. It's out there somewhere. It is out there somewhere. Sounds like a great idea to bring back the diesel engines considering the Croc 69 <laughs> COP21. Biden uses 65 cars to get to the meeting, yeah. Yeah, there is a certain level of irony to that. Robert, nicely put. So we are free for the S. That was a harsh stop. Oh, we're on trams. I love a good tram. I do love a good tram. I've said that before. Uh, I'm not sure where that one is. Melbourne. Random Melbourne tram. Someone's been kind enough to, to give us a comment there. PG350. Um... Lisbon's good for trams. 
one of the first ever videos I made was Lisbon Trans with uh, Danny, hashtag Mumrail. Um, yeah, that, that was interesting to film. But yeah, Lisbon's, Lisbon's good for trams. Right, we are off to Bishopstone. It's taken me... I mentioned it in the last free one free stream. It took me a long time to kind of pick up on this. And I'm probably... I'm, like everyone else has probably already noticed, I'm probably just really late to the party as usual. But as we leave here... Check out the name on the ferry. Brian Ferries. <laughs> like I said, I'm probably just really late... Really late to the party. Everyone else probably realised that, but I thought that's a nice little touch. Robert Lilly, how much of Marine Station is left? The platform and a couple of signs um, is about it. It's used as a siding and for turning trains now. Um, it, it's not open to the public anymore. Oh, that's interesting, Carl. Hastings Bus Depot still has tram tracks inside the workshop. Are you a driver on stagecoach, Carl, in Hastings? Well, but yeah, the Roxy Music Ferry, exactly that. Young Showy, have you ever considered the day in the life of the train driver video? Nobody has done one yet. Yeah, really difficult to do to, and, and comply with company social media policies and stuff like that. Um, I can't film in the cab. Um... I'm, I'm restricted on, on what I can do a lot, so that makes it very difficult. I do have, if you're on the um, Discord server, if you're not linked in the description below, there is a channel on there called the Dad Rail Diary, and I kind of do like a little um, blog with pictures of my sort of day-to-day -day, um, train driving activities as and when I can. But trying to put it together in video format would be really difficult, and it, it'd, it'd be missing a lot of footage, so it wouldn't be so good. But if I could get the right permissions and stuff from work, I, I, what I'd love to do is just put like loads of GoPros inside the cab and a forward facing one so have like loads of GoPros mounted that would be really really cool but I, it's just not going to happen oh, I'm an engineer I contract that, oh, okay Carl so by your username do you have a garden railway? I believe you do because I believe you've got um, I believe it's documented on your YouTube channel because I think I've watched your videos I watch a lot of YouTube videos though, so do correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, Bishop Stone's a bit of an odd one to stop at because the gradient changes right in the middle of the platform. You're steep up to steep down. So can, you can be coming in really nicely and then as you come over the gradient the train just runs away with you. Yeah, like I say, Wolfboy, one of the first videos I've done, if you if you want to check the back catalogue, was Lisbon Trams. So that was an interesting one. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Minty. I, I think the difference is, in a, in a cockpit environment, you've got more than one person, generally speaking. Um, so there's kind of an extra pair of eyes and everything else. But yeah, no, the, if, if we had sort of two people in the cab, then it would be doable. Um, but as, as a driver on your own, it's no, you, you can't do it, unfortunately. I'm sitting there. I've still got brakes in. That's good. So we're coming into Seaford, which is our final station. Yes, Carl. I think I think I have picked up on a couple of your videos before. I tend to find when I'm doing um, T3 ballast jobs. Um, that's when I when I tend to watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> you, you, you're kind of sitting there on a ballast site and sometimes you can be, you know, nine, ten hours on site, sometimes longer. And you don't move the train for the whole shift. You, you've just got to be there just in case, like, on call. So you can, you can get a lot of YouTube watched. Oh, that's very kind of you, Peter. I think there's some, re there's some reasonable content on the older ones. I think I like to think they've improved a little bit now. Maybe they haven't. <laughs> Maybe the older ones were better.
So we are coming into Seaford, 15 mile an hour at the platform ramps. Dan Rail's mobile, no, not my mobile data, it's, it's on the company iPad, <laughs> fortunately. We are coming into Seaford, which is modelled really, really well. It is, it is very modelled very well. Um, I don't know Seaford particularly well. I, obviously, I do sign this route to Seaford, but the actual town I don't know particularly well. But the railway does look very, very nice. Yeah, thanks, Ian. Really great to have you here, my friend. Uh, we should be doing 10 miles an hour for the TPWS loops, which are not simulated, but as a good driver, we'll do it anyway, because it is good practice. And six foot away from the buffer stops, I reckon it's about there. Step three brakes, DRA, into neutral. Open the doors, uh, then we are tail lights on, off, key out. Uh, it's probably going to tell me to lock the doors, but we can do that on the gas panel. Uh, hi Debro, is there a neutral section on third rail like there is on overhead line equipment? Yeah, you've got uh, what are called gaps in the third rail. Differences on the um, third rail, if I jump out the train... I'll just wait for it to time out, then I'll jump out the train and, and explain. Yeah, not oh, a little bit of speeding there, but generally speaking, that's not too bad. When you come into station stops, you, you kind of want to see these curves. Um, obviously, that's coming down towards Lewis there, I believe. But you kind of want to see the curves sort of really sort of nice and, and gentle. If you've got these kind of zigzag bits in there, it means you, your braking is not particularly good. Um, like there, for example, it's sort of down and up, down and up, down and up. That's that's not good braking. What you want to see is kind of more like this, sort of a nice, nice gentle curve down, so you you're braking smoothly. Yeah, I'll just explain about the 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 gaps. Um, return to free roam. So if I get out the other side of the train, where with um, obviously trains with pantographs, generally speaking, on on a unit you'll only have one pantograph raised. So when you pass through the neutral section, you need to power off, or you get the vacuum circuit breaker opens, blah de blah blah On the third rail, like where you've got level crossings and stuff, you'll have gaps in the third rail. You can see there's a gap right there at the end towards the buffer stops. But on a third rail train, you've got collector shoes at the front here, and you'll also have collector shoes further down the train. So on some trains, you'll have collector shoes on, on that set, that bogey and that bogey. Um, but you can see here you have collector shoes at the very front, and you've got collector shoes at the very back. So normally, as long as the, the gap on the third row is shorter than the length of the train, it won't matter. You're still collecting current. Um, so, yeah, um, normally you, you don't have to worry too much about the gaps. If you go over bigger gaps, and sometimes it can cause a little bit of an issue. Um, but on, on sort of most gaps, you'll find on the running lines, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, points and junctions, sometimes there's large gaps. And if you're going over them slowly, especially coming out of depots, then it is possible to stop the train in the gap. Uh, and then you become what's known as gapped and you're absolutely knackered and not going anywhere <laughs> which is always fun um, class 73 locomotives that I drive which are third rail diesel locomotives and third rail electric you've got collector shoes on, on the locomotive on both bogies but because they're not very long you tend to find a lot of the gaps so a lot of the gaps you wouldn't find it in a passenger train like this you find them in the locomotive because the, the area that the gap needs to be is a lot smaller but there we go, guys. I think that's probably about it for today. I think I'm going to call it a night there. Because um, I've got rather a busy day tomorrow. So, uh, there we go. So hopefully, oh, still got still got Halloween spiders. Um, I'm aware that my microphone is probably delayed at this point as well. Because for some reason, the camera seems to have gone really out of sync. So, if the, if the voice and the mic, microphone and the camera is out of sync, then... Um, I'm really sorry about that, and I have no idea what's going on with the camera. It keeps crashing and stuff, but hopefully I can get that sorted. So hopefully you have enjoyed the stream, guys. If you have, then please do hit the like button, and also consider subscribing to DadRail. That would be awesome. 
If you're not already, then um, Discord link is in the description below. It'd be great to see you over there. And you can also follow me on my social media channels. Facebook.com forward slash dadrail. Twitter.com forward slash dadrail. There we go, guys. Uh, with major sync issues and everything else going wrong in this stream tonight, I am going to call it there. Uh, 8.30 Thursday, hopefully be doing the West Cornwall route, if it gets released this time. Fingers crossed for that. And uh, there we go. So, as always, guys, remember, create, share, and inspire. And I'll see you in the next one.